This tech tip shows you how to geo-reference a model in Google Earth. So the first thing I'm going to jump into, Juan, here is going to be in Google Earth. So you guys might be familiar, hopefully, with the Stonecrest project. And we talk about a lot about geo-referencing. So in order to geo-reference a takeoff or even a model in Google Earth, what we need to do is navigate to the location. So here I am in, uh, in Georgia or actually in South Carolina, one same place you were. So maybe we'll see each other later today. Mm -hmm. So basically I found the location of the project. This is, most of this is existing. It's already been built. So if I look back in Google or in uh, Ag Tech here in grade work, I just need to find two common points. So I'm gonna use this corner of this pad for the mail kiosk and then this corner down here for the curb. So I go back to Google Earth I'm going to click on the ruler button, drag it out of the way, and then I'm just going to create a couple points. So I'm going to tap right here, and I'm going to drag my rubber band down to the other corner, click it, and let's save it. And it's going to be named line measure. That's fine. We'll leave it that name. And notice down here or over here on the, on the left, it's going to be called line measure. So I'm just going to do save place as, and I'm going to save that line measure into the folder that I'm working out of. So make sure I'm in the Stonecrest folder. That looks good. Hit save. Now I can close out of here and I'm going to jump back into grade work. Now I want to import in those points that I just saved or that line measure. So I say right click, import file, import image. And there's that line measure. Thankfully I saved it into the right location. I didn't want to be searching for it while you guys were watching me. Now I bring in these benchmarks. So they show up in the benchmarks layer. So I just change the benchmarks and I look at them. They don't look like they're in the right spot. Do they want? No, I don't think so. You're going to have to move them. Is there so, way easy way to move them? Uh, I'm drawing a blank. Isn't there a hotkey <laughs> I can use? F7, right? F7. There you go. Thank you. I know so many hotkeys. I'm forgetting them. So and, and not only for go. benchmarks, right, uh, Matt? Yeah, I think uh, we could also use that for perimeters, for lines, or for building models, for, for moving any type of point, right? Any point, that's correct. So I'm just clicking on the point, hitting F7, and locating them to the proper location that I set them in Google Earth. Now to export out, I need to go into plan view. So we'll bring up the job and then we'll export out to Google Earth. So once that's done loading, I'll just center it on the screen for you. I'm going to go to file, export, and export KMZ. There we go. We'll save it. Then it's going to bring up our menu. So there I can control what layers I'm going to send over. Hit export. And let's hope, Juan, that we've got it right because we should show up in uh, good old Gaffney, South Carolina, right? The old Stonecrest project. You've probably done that one a, a time or two in your many years of training. First time I've seen it. <laughs> you're you're not a very good liar one <laughs> all right so it looks like it's going into south carolina and boom we dropped right in so we're good to go you guys probably know about the controls but